To start, let's remove all four lug nuts and take this wheel off with a 19 millimeter socket. So now with the wheel off, we have a clear view of what's happening here. And what this bolt does is instead of having a solid through bolt here with no pivoting action, this has a little cam lobe on it and it's gonna push the knuckle in and out depending on what adjustment you need, whether you're raising or lowering the vehicle. If you're lowering, uh, you're probably gonna have some negative camber that you either want to take away or manage in some shape or form. So this is a good way to do that. That way you still get proper performance, grip, and looks. So let's remove this top bolt, loosen the bottom. This is gonna go on the top. That way I can pivot the top of the knuckle in or out, depending on whether you want negative or positive camber. 19 millimeter socket with a 19 millimeter wrench. Remove the bolt. Take the nut off, push this through. Loosen up the bottom. Okay, you don't have to remove that one. Just leave it like that. Next, you wanna take the camber bolt and make sure that this washer has the large hook facing out towards the head of the bolt and then the small hook facing in and you want to line that up with the small hook at the top of this lobe here because this is actually gonna go inside of the hole. So slide it through. You're gonna have to move the knuckle around to make this fit. There we go. So keep wiggling till it completely goes in and it's bottomed out. And then take your 15 millimeter wrench. You can spin this. You can see how the knuckle's moving in and out. That's, that's the point of this. If you push the lobe that way, pulls the knuckle in, adds negative camber. If for some reason you need to correct it the other way and you have too much negative camber, you push the knuckle out like this and it creates positive camber. Anyway, whatever alignment you need to do, you can tell your alignment professional and they will take care of it. But now let's install the mounting nut on the other side and clamp it down. 18 millimeter socket on the nut side. I'm gonna hold the bolt side. I'm gonna position it at the most negative point on the uh, camber. I'll just start there and then the alignment professional can take it from there. This tab indicates the other side of that smaller tab, which is in the strut. And so you want this facing towards you if you want negative camber. That means the knuckle is pushed back all the way. That's about where I'm at right now. So hold it and snug it up. Now let's torque it to 66 foot-pounds. And this gets torqued to the factory torque spec for these bolts, which is 66 foot-pounds. Don't forget to tighten up this bottom one. Torque it to 66 foot-pounds as well. So now you do the same to the other side because you need to do this in pairs and then go down to your local alignment shop and have them align the car properly. Go ahead and put the wheel back on. Start on all four of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and then torque them to 80 foot-pounds. Perfect.